Hey, what's up guys? TechVid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM uh, on your Android device. This will mainly help you if your device is running quite slow and, you know, it's running its stock version, you've tried resetting it and a bunch of other things, but nothing's working. Go ahead and try installing a custom ROM, which is what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So, in today's video, we're going to be installing Lineage OS, which is a custom ROM based off of the Android open source project. So this is like a bare bones uh, Android install and after that we're going to be installing Google Apps so a basic Google Apps package so that you can get your YouTube backup and some of your other basic functions that don't require the rest of the Google's bloatware running on your system. So let's get it started right after the intro. So the first step would be to take a backup of your device. So to do that, I would recommend you use your Google account because if you have a Samsung tablet as I have here, or phone, then you won't be able to access your Samsung account because all of the Samsung services will be gone off of the tablet. So you should use your Google account when doing this. Uh, then you can go ahead and restore everything after you have logged in to Lineage OS. And then after that, you need to make sure that your device isn't a passkey, so like, Google recently introduced this feature where you can use a passkey device instead of your passwords, which if this device is a passkey, you will want to remove it from your accounts. Otherwise, your passkey will be stuck and you won't be able to log into those accounts anymore. Next up, you'll want to go ahead and enable developer mode. So, on my tablet, I have already enabled developer mode. Now, if you haven't already done this, then you'll want to go ahead and do about tablet and you'll want to go into your tablet's software uh, information menu. So it'll be right here. After that, you'll want to spam this build number option. See, for mine, it already says that developer mode has already been enabled, so I don't need to do that. Next, go into developer mode. Be sure that you have OEM unlock enabled. I need to log in real quick. And it's going to give you a little pop-up warning here. Go ahead and click turn on. After which you'll want to select the USB debugging feature. Okay. And we should be good with our developer mode settings now. Next up, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and log out of any Google and manufacturer accounts. So for example, on this one, I have a Samsung account and a Google account logged in. Make sure that you have those logged out. So you may have Google and Motorola account, Google and uh, LG account, something like that. Go ahead and log out of those. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so after that, you can go ahead and turn off the tablet. And we can move on to the computer step. So let's do that. Okay guys, so now that we're on our computer, let's go ahead and get started. So, first off, if we're using a Samsung device, we'll need to use Odin, which on Mac I cannot use since that's a Windows application, so instead I'm going to be using something called Heimdall. Uh, so, Heimdall is kind of just a terminal-based alternative for Mac users and Linux users, so make sure to get that installed. You can find it on the Lineage OS wiki. And after that, we'll need to go ahead and put our device in recovery mode. Getting the device into recovery mode isn't too difficult. All you need to do is get the device, go ahead and power it off. After powering it off, we'll need to get the power button, the volume down, and the home button. Three, two, one. We got this screen now for download mode. Then we can hit the volume up key. There we go, we're in download mode now. Let's head back to the computer. Okay guys, so now that it's in recovery mode, let's go ahead and get Heimdall ready. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this command here, which is right here on screen in bigger text. And we're gonna go ahead and replace this recovery.img here with the directory for our TWRP flash image. And we'll go ahead and plug our tablet in now, or phone, if you're on a phone. Also, make sure that you have a properly functional cable. If you have one of those micro USB cables that are faulty or damaged or are just finicky in general, then 
This is a very dangerous thing to do, as if that fails, then your entire device will get turned into a brick. So now let's go ahead and flash it. It's done downloading, now let's head back to the real world. Okay guys, so now that we're back in the real world, let's go ahead and boot into TWRP, which is going to be done by holding down power, volume down, and home. And then after it goes to black, switch to volume up. There we go, Team Win Recovery Project. And then we're going to have to swipe this to allow modifications to our system. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get our image copied over from the computer over to the SD card on this thing. Okay guys, so now that we have uh, our computer here, and we have our SD card over here attached to the computer, uh, we have Lineage OS, the image here, and then we have our gapps package. So I'm currently using Nic gapps as it gives me the most customizability as to what apps I would like from Google on my system. So there are multiple releases of that that have a varying amount of apps on there so i have the go version which tends to be the lighter version from what i've been able to get from their description so we will be using this and if you don't want to mess too much with the g apps then just go ahead and install simple mind the g apps application or uh, micro g because those tend to be the easiest to set up so now let's go ahead and copy these two images over to the SD card of the tablet. So now that we have the files copied over, uh, we can go ahead and remove this. And if you're on a device that doesn't have a uh, memory card, removable memory card, then you can go ahead and connect your device to your computer and use adb-d side load and then put the directory for your uh, lineage OS image here. So this right here will do the trick. You should just be able to install it after that. Uh, it'll go ahead and flash the image to your device. And then after that, do the same for your G apps package if you're installing one. So now let's go ahead and move back to TWRP on our tablet. Okay guys, so now that we have the image on our SD card, let's go ahead and unlock the tablet. Then after that, we'll need to select the wipe option. Uh, advanced wipe. We're going to choose uh, most of the options here except for the last two otherwise you're going to delete everything on your memory card that you have backed up and the USB OTG which is any USB flash drives you have connected through the micro USB port uh, through an adapter. So let's go ahead and click swipe to wipe. That rhymes. Okay guys so once you have wiped it, and by the way, quick side note, if you, whenever you go to wipe and select these options, it fails, go ahead and run the format data option and then run an advanced wipe. That tends to fix the issues. That's what fixed the issue for me, at least. So now go ahead and get your SD card back. Now that we have that there, we'll go ahead and hit install slash SD card. We'll do select storage micro SD card. Okay, so now that we have this here, uh, and we're inside of the install zip option, go ahead and scroll down. I have this dot underscore file here because that's just the macOS support file. It's kind of weird. But choose the one that doesn't have dot underscore if you're using Mac or Linux to set this up. And if you were using Windows, then you wouldn't even have those files in the first place. So go ahead and select lineage 19.1, swipe to confirm flash. There we go. Let's go ahead and wait for this to complete then. Okay guys, so we're done. Now we'll go ahead and hit wipe cache. And now we'll hit back. And then we'll go ahead and install our gapps image. Okay guys, so now we'll hit wipe cache again. There we go. And then we can go ahead and hit reboot system. Here we are in the setup menu. Oh, and it's kind of messed up, okay. There we go. Language, next, current time zone. That does not seem right at all. Next, sure. Next, lineage OS features, sure. Nah, I don't want the on-screen navigation. I like these ones better. Next, protect your tablet. Next. Oh, that's cool. There's multiple sizes for patterns now. Now, we'll hit this. Don't restore. This is for lineage. Let's start. Ooh, the operating system already looks pretty nice. Swipe up, we got this, and here you can see our Go apps. So Gmail Go, Maps Go, Google Go. So those are our Go apps. 
And here settings, use the taskbar to switch apps. Next, drag to the side to use two apps. Next, touch and hold to hide taskbar, done. That's pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and go back home. So now let's go ahead and get the Lineage OS recovery menu installed. Okay guys, so now that we're back to the computer, we have our Lineage OS uh, .zip here. Go ahead and extract that. And inside of that folder that it creates, you should have recovery.img. So what you're gonna wanna do here is go to the Heimdall flash recovery command again, replace recovery.img with the path to this recovery.img file, and then hit enter. Be sure that your device is in download mode, by the way. There we go. Ending session, and we should be good to go. So then go ahead and restart the device by holding down power, volume down, and home. And then after the screen goes dark, hold power, volume up, and home. And you should be in Lineage OS's recovery menu. Let's go back to the real world. And there we go, guys. That's Lineage OS recovery. Now we can go ahead and hit power to reboot system now. Booting up already much faster than default stock Android. There we go, we're in Lineage OS. And then we'll go into our settings app. Okay, go ahead and search up advanced restart. And then if you enable that, now whenever we hold down the power button and hit restart, we have the option to boot into recovery or download modes. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay safe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Bye.